I don't know if that's that girl either. It's like the first half, they had me in a chokehold. Second half, not so much. Hello everyone, my name is Sandra and thank you so much for tuning in. All right, y'all, your girl went on another haul. Now, this time, your girl bought literally an entire face full of She Glam. Now, if you guys didn't know, Shein has a makeup line and it is called She Glam and they have literally everything. And the thing that is so nice about it is the price point. For all of these things that I'm about to show you today, I think I paid like $73. That is an amazing price considering that I got a full face of makeup along with a few extra items. Without further ado, we're gonna go ahead and unbox everything. And then afterwards, you know, you see your girl. I'm a I'm a naked mole rat, and you know that it's for a reason. Cause I'm about to try all this on my face. Hopefully, we about to look good and snatched and just so delicious. I will let y'all know before we get into the thing, it is very late at night. So Justin not taking me nowhere. Even if I look too good to keep at the house, I will be at the house taking this off my face as soon as I'm done filming, washing my face and going to bed. That's what's on the docket for tonight. Let's go ahead and get into these different products that I got from my Shein She Glam haul. The first thing that I'm picking up is the She Glam, obviously, Triple Threat Correcting Primer. Now y'all, this packaging is nice. Usually when you get stuff that's like super cheap like this, you're thinking the packaging and just everything is just gonna be trash because you know, you're paying cents on the dollar compared to like a Fenty or a La Mercier or whatever other brand is out there that is expensive or more expensive. This packaging is right up par with that. Looking at this, if I didn't know that this was She Glam, I would think that this was like medium range product. And it's even got like the little embossment on the packaging. That's nice. For the price, this is pretty amazing. Okay, you see the outside is popping. What is the inside looking like? Y'all about to lose it when I show y'all this. Bruh, get into it. Isn't that just beautiful? This feels, this feels nice. This is plastic. I bet with like a higher end product, this would be more of like a frosted glass. This is plastic, but I don't care. This is nice. And this is just like a little primer. It's got all the different little colors and stuff in there. I want I wonder how they swirl that in there. Like, how do they get the product to look like this? I'm super excited to try this out. I just, I, I'm just like enthralled with like how they did this. This is so freaking cool. This will be my primer for today. Hopefully it's really good. You know, if these things are really good, I will definitely add them to my makeup collection and use them again, okay? I am not a price snob. I actually prefer to get things on the low low because that means it's more accessible, but it's still a good quality product. Moving on, the next thing that I'm picking up is the Complexion Pro Long Lasting Breathable Matte Foundation. And the color that I got was golden. I did use their shade match that they have on their website. I put in two different foundations and kind of looked at them and seen which one I thought would be the better pick. Now I did put in my Fenty foundation and I did put in Charlotte Tilbury that Ipsy picked for me. Cause that actually turned out to be a pretty good color. I think I went with the one that matched with my Fenty, just cause my tried and true is my tried and true, okay? Nobody eating after Rihanna. Again, they did not skimp out on packaging. I think that embossment right there is just so cool. But yeah, this feels good. Ooh, okay, they've already won me. Look at what this comes in. It comes in its own little velvet case. That is so freaking nice. Then it has the logo right on the top. Whereas the primer was in a plastic, this one, we in that frosted glass. I am actually really into this. And y'all, I did get a matte foundation because I'm just, I'm not a fan of dewy moisturizing foundations. I like for my face to be a little bit more matte. And if I want to have like a dewier look, I'll just add a little bit of highlight. My skin's too oily for a dewy set foundation. Now, maybe in the winter time, I might like a dewy foundation because my skin dries out. But most of the time, I'm going for this matte, matte foundation. I might be 
doing Shein hauls, well, she glam hauls uh, a couple times in the year and just getting different products and trying them out as long as they perform well. Now, if they don't perform well, then obviously I'm not going to keep buying bull just because it's in a nice packaging. I'm just not going to do that. I'm not wasting my $73. But if it performs well, I will continue to buy some stuff from them and then do more hauls like this where I try out different launches that they have. The next thing is the Moon Side Highlighter. Highlighter Moon Side. I like it. But this is the packaging. I think this is so cute. Okay. This is actually kind of cool. Ooh, look at that. Isn't that adorable? It's got like a little, like a little bulbous part right here that kind of highlights and magnifies the highlighter that's on the inside. I think that is so cool. I think this is so pretty and cute. And this is in the color Moon Rose. The next thing that I'm pulling out is the Like Magic 12 Hour Full Coverage Concealer. And I got this in the color Earth. I'm guessing this is my deeper shade. This is what the outer packaging is looking like. Ooh, is this glass too? I think this is in glass as well. This is the concealer. I, I think this is the concealer. I don't think this is my um like contour. I think this is just the concealer. This is what the doe foot is looking like. Smells like uh, mascara. The next thing that I'm picking up here is, I guess this is my, oh, I might've messed up. I'm thinking this is my concealer and I think I accidentally got this shade for my contour. And this is not deep enough to contour a damn thing. Okay, that's not contouring. This one is in the color Honey. Again, this is the Matte Like Magic 12 Hour Full Coverage Concealer of... I know in my next haul, okay, the next time I do a little shop shop on She Glam, uh, well, She and She Glam, I will get a deeper shade for my contour. This is what this one is looking like. Now this one looks really light. Yeah, I don't know what I was thinking. Like, what was I thinking? The next thing that I'm pulling out is the Pro Precision Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner. Ooh, this feels nice. It feels like a really nice quality. I'm guessing it's probably just black and it is. It's just a black felt tip liquid eyeliner. Hopefully this draws very well. I don't want to have any streaky, you know, get little vein things. I, I just, I don't want to deal with that. The next thing that I'm pulling over is the Divine Flush Matte Blush. That's what that looks like. And this is in the color Tangerine. I did go for a more peachy blush because you know, as of maybe, I guess a month that peach has been my color. Ooh, now this feels really good. This has more of a like, I don't even know what to call this kind of texture, but it's kind of like silicone. Yeah, it has like a silicone kind of texture to it. I think that is so freaking cool. Yup, there go my peach. And it actually has like a little bit of a, ooh, you can see yourself. And this actually has like a little bit of an ombre going on. So it's like lighter up top and then it gets a little bit darker towards the bottom. And hopefully it will look good on the cheeks. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. This next item that I'm pulling up is the Love Dive Tender Heart Powder Blush. I didn't even show this to you. I'm over here opening it up. I didn't even show it to you guys. This is what it looks like. Some of these blushes I'm not gonna try. If I have doubles of things, I'm not gonna try them all today. We'll do separate try-ons for other items. Whatever goes with my eye look, that's what I'm gonna try on. With that being said, this is another blush that I received by ordering it. I didn't get these as gifts. I paid my mummies for this. This packaging is so cute. It's giving 70s. Ooh, again, we have like this kind of silicone texture going on. She Glam is getting an A++ for packaging, okay? A++ for presentation. This is in the color Don't Pink Twice. <laughs> Isn't that cute? This is gorgeous. I'm not sure if I own anything that's this purpley, pinky kind of color. So I'm very excited to try this out and see. I think this is the blush that I'm gonna use for today's look. The eyeshadow palette is more in this kind of area when it comes to the color story. This is very cute. I just, I love this packaging. This silicone texture is everything. This next item that I'm picking up is the Striking Brow Gel. And this is what the outfit 
outside is looking like. And I got this in the color medium brown. Ooh, okay, this is so cute and itty bitty. This is what it's looking like. And it's just like a little brow gel. You just kind of go like this and then it adds a little bit of color to your brows. The next item that I'm pulling up is the Max Impact Extreme Volumizing Mascara. It has a slight iridescence to it, which I love. Iridescence is, is that girl. This is so cute. Okay, this is what she's looking like. I think that is so adorable. Let's see what the wand is looking like. Okay, so it's one of those bristly, bristly wands. Bronze. Bristly wands. Smells funny, which all mascara smells funny. I'll be a little concerned if it didn't smell funny. And this next item is the Glam 101 Lipstick and Liner Duo. Very cool, very cool. And this is in the color Deep Caramel or Caramel, if you're nasty. Ooh, I like this packaging. This is so nifty. Look at that. That is so freaking cute. And this part is like raised where it says the name of the company, She Glam. And it's just a double-ended lip duo. Okay, you don't get that much lip products. So you get like the lipstick part and then you get the liner, which I'm looking at it and the liner is definitely darker, which is her Fact. Oh, okay, so that's how much liner you get, bruh. Get into it. The next item that I'm pulling out is the Matte Fresh Setting Spray. And this is what the box is looking like. And this is what the setting spray is looking like. I think that is so fun. <laughs> I think it's so fun how it's like upside down. Let's see how it mists. Ooh, okay. That's a nice mist and it doesn't smell bad. The next item is the Baked Glow Setting Powder. And this is what the box is looking like. I got it in the color Cappuccino. I love how it has like this matte and then you have the raised part that is nice and shiny. Nice and shiny. Sorry, uh, Moana is literally on replay because I have a 10 month old daughter and that's all she wants to watch is Moana and Encanto, Encanto and Moana. And all those songs just keep playing in my head as if I'm literally in Disney hell. So excuse me if I randomly just bust out in Disney song. It's because it keeps playing in my head uncontrollably, like against my will. Ooh, okay, we stand her. It comes with a really cute little powder puff like this so that you can very nice. And then it has the little openings for you to get your stuff out. I think this is super cute. This feels really nice. Not as good as the one that I got in my Lunar Beauty. It doesn't feel as good as that, but it's still nice. It's still like high quality. It's not looking like it's gonna shed and just like rip apart as soon as I use it. The next item that I'm picking up is the Color Crush Liquid Eyeliner. And this one is in the color Call Your Mama. It's literally in the color Call Your Mama. I think that's so funny. Why am I calling my mama? <laughs> what she got to do with this? This is what the little eyeliner is looking like. It has that silicone texture as well, which I think is so nifty. I love that silicone texture. And this is actually a white eyeliner. I did get this because I did like the white eyeliner that got my ice cream beauty box that first time I got an ice cream beauty box. I liked it, but the white wasn't really white, white. You know what I'm Hey, like it wasn't white. It was like kind of like an off white. So I'm hoping that this will give me like a nice sharp white line. So very excited to try this out. Not trying this out today. I will try this out at a later time. The next item that I'm pulling out is the Sun Side Bronzer. Bronzer Sun Side. I think this is in the color Midsummer. This is again in a very cool packaging with like this little bulbous area right here. I think that is so much fun. Isn't that fun? And this is what the bronzer is looking like. A plus. <laughs> We're down to the last two things. I'm gonna save the eyeshadow palette for last cause duh, it's an eyeshadow palette. The next thing that I'm pulling out is the Starlight Velvet Lipstick. And this is what the packaging is looking like. I think this is so pretty. She and did that thing. I'm not gonna hold y'all. She and did that thing. This is the cutest little bullet lipstick ever. Isn't that adorable? And it actually looks like a bullet. <laughs> this is in the color Heartbeat. Ooh, okay. Ooh, and it 
says she glam right on there. I think that is so cool. And this is the color that I went with. I love these like nudie browns. It's like one of my favorites. I love nudie browns. Ugh. I gotta go and get more colors. I just, I have to. After this, while I'm like uploading everything, I will be back on Shein and putting a bunch of stuff in my cart. I'm just, it, it's gonna happen. It, it, it has to happen. And the final thing that I have in my little haul is the She Glam Rap, well, obviously She Glam, Rhapsody Palettes, Palettes Rhapsody. The colors in here are stunning, if I remember correctly. The colors in here are just absolutely beautiful. Okay, this is what the outside packaging is looking like. Get into it. Take your booty and get into it. Isn't that just gorgeous? And then I love how the pan has like that iridescence around it. And I'm glad they didn't waste their time putting a mirror. I don't need a mirror, okay? Just give me the, give me the shadows, right? Give me the shadows in a nice solid packaging and I am happy. And it's magnetized, okay? We got some magnetization going on here. I'm thinking this middle shade right here is a duochrome as well as this one. This one looks like it's a duochrome as well. Actually, all three of these look like they're duochromes. Now, my only thing is I wish this color right here was a tad bit deeper, but that's fine, okay? We got tons of other palettes. So if we really, really wanted to go for a deeper purple look, we just reach into another palette, grab a little darker purple, put that on there and then call it a day. Let's go ahead and do some swatches. All right, y'all. So this is what the palette is looking like on my skin tone. The mattes are a little bit chalky and the shimmers aren't as like pigmented as I was hoping, but they are beautiful. We'll, we'll know how the formula is formulated once we go ahead and put this on the eye but we're gonna go ahead and get into this try on and I will let you guys know my thoughts and opinions. We will have to do a wear test some other time, okay? Cause I'm not about to stay up six extra hours just to do a wear test tonight. Like it's the middle of the night right now. I'm not doing it. No ma'am, no ma'am. I will try this makeup on again at some point in time and we'll do a wear test then to see if we're gonna have that Dollar Tree effect. My face was drenched in oil. Like I felt disgusted. Disgusting. Y'all, let's go ahead and get into this try on. To start with, we are going to use their Triple Threat Primer. I honestly, having seen how high quality the packaging is on like the foundation and things like that, I think that they could have, they could have gave us a frosted glass. Ooh, look at that. It's just a mixture of colors. I think that is so fun. That is just really fun. It smells okay. It smells okay. Let's go ahead and rub this in and see. I'm turning into Casper the Friendly Ghost. Luckily, this isn't like a sunscreen. <laughs> this is meant to go under foundation. So it doesn't really matter if it like flushes me out because I'm putting foundation over this. We're definitely ghostly. Now for the fun part, we're gonna try this uh, foundation on. Let's see if they shade match me correctly. It looks just about right. It looks about the same color as my Fenty. I'm gonna use a brush this time instead of my typical sponge. I love this brush. I typically don't use brushes, but this one's actually really nice. I think that actually looks really good. They shade matched me really well. I hope I'm blended. Watch I get to editing and I'm like, girl, what did you think? It didn't dry out too fast where I couldn't like work with the formula. I think this is a really good foundation from how it feels. On my skin, it feels really nice. I have two concealers here. I'm gonna try this deeper shade, which is Earth. I'm gonna try that and see, cause this looks a little way too light. That's darker than my actual foundation. I'm just gonna do the both to both sides. I'm gonna put that on both sides. Yeah, I don't know what I'm gonna use this for because I, I definitely cannot use this under eye or my concealer. I'm just gonna kind of blend that out a little bit and then I'm gonna put this lighter shade on. We're good. We were worried a little bit, but we were, we're okay. Now this is definitely gonna brighten me up. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about like, look at that. That is nice and bright. This actually applied really nicely, okay? Now I am gonna use my pink lips, okay? My pink lips to do my contour and I'll be right back. Let's go ahead and blend this out and see what we're working with. It's definitely brightening up. Honestly, I think it looks 
good. With my glasses off, it looks good. I definitely have the brightening going on underneath my eye. Did it take all the like dark spot away? No. Maybe if I put a little bit more, it will. Let me try just a little bit more concealer and see and see if it will kind of brighten this area up a little bit more. I need to sleep more. <laughs> I think that's what that's really saying is, girl, get you some sleep. Dry this down a little bit. You know, drying down your concealer makes it a little bit more tacky. Okay, it gives you more coverage, so. We did get a little bit more brightening under the eye. I mean, it's doing its job. I just need to sleep more. <laughs> I need to get more sleep so that I'm not like putting too much pressure on my makeup to correct my sleeping problems. Now that we have put the makeups on the face, it is time to set. We are going to use their setting power, our setting powder and in the color cappuccino. It seems okay. It, it seems okay. I don't really have too many issues with like setting powders and stuff. I look matte and that's what I want. I want to look matte. The real tell will be when we set it because then everything's going to kind of melt together. So we'll know if, it, if it's popping like that once we melt the makeup in. Next, I'm going to go ahead and bronze using my Sun Side Bronzer. I'm just going to go into this a little bit. I don't want to do too much. We might have already did too much. I'm pretty bronzed. Wait, let's just blend that out a little bit. I'm pretty bronzed, it, it looks like. Now that we're bronzed, it's time to do the cheeks. I do think that because this is more of a purpley look that I do wanna go for the more purpley blush. I'm gonna just kind of dip into her. How we looking? We looking real, real blushy. We looking cold, okay, cold girl season. I don't know if this is my color. I don't know if this is my color. I, I'll have to look at it in the camera once it's like all melted together and see if, if I'm that girl for that blush or if that blush is that girl for me. Next is this Moon Side Highlighter. We're gonna dust a little bit of this on there and see, see what she's working with. Don't wanna do too much. Ooh, okay, and do a little, little strip down and then pull the, on my Cupid's bow. I love playing in makeup, it's just so much fun. Are we highlighted or can you just see all the texture in my skin or both? I think that's pretty. <laughs> with my glasses off, I think it's pretty. Next, we are actually gonna go in with this eyebrow gel. Now, I haven't used an eyebrow gel in so long, so we'll see, we'll see if this does what I'm hoping it'll do. Feels a little like dried out. Do I have eyebrows or not? I can't, okay. It's definitely not dried out like I was saying. I can see the pigments coming into play. I guess this is good for like super like not dramatic eyebrow day. Let's see, hopefully I didn't just like ruin my makeup with the damn eyebrow gel. Uh, next time I go on Shein, I'm gonna get an eyebrow pencil cause that's my safe zone. That's where I feel safe and secure is with a brow pencil, not a brow gel, but let's see, let's see. Ooh, I don't know if that looked right. That looked crazy. Maybe if I like sculpt, sculpt them out a little bit. I'm not sure how I'm feeling about this eyebrow gel. I might not be that girl for eyebrow gel. Or maybe I just gotta practice with it. Let's go ahead and blend this out with this little thing right here. Or maybe I just like messed up my entire makeup look. Not my favorite, <laughs> but that could just be, I don't know how to apply them, right? Like this could just be like me, my error, my issue a hundred percent of the way. I just need to practice with the eyebrow gel and find what works for me. I mean, they don't look terrible now. They don't look terrible now. Maybe I'll get in the camera when I'm editing and be like, girl, you got one eyebrow up here and the other one is down here. Get it together. <laughs> we're just gonna move on. Okay, we're gonna move on. Next, we're actually going to go ahead and get into this palette right here. I am going to consider seal my eyelids just so that we have a nice canvas to work on. So far this foundation feels amazing. Not better than my Fenty, but it still feels absolutely amazing. Let's go ahead and get into this palette. Do these colors look damn near the same? This one was slightly darker, but they're very, very, very similar. For my transition shade, I'm actually gonna go into You. That's funny. I'm just gonna start sweeping that above my crease. 
that's actually sealing up pretty good. Next, with a smaller brush, still fluffy, but just smaller fluffy, I'm going to go into this color Lily. I'm just gonna kind of add that underneath my transition shade. Yeah, these colors are, are showing up pretty nicely and they're blending out beautifully. Using my fluffier brush without adding any products, I'm actually just gonna kind of buff out this edge right here. Because these shimmers are not as pigmented as I would like them to be, I'm actually gonna go into Pink Me and put that over my lid first and then put a shimmer over the top so that hopefully it'll give it more impact. We're definitely going for unicorn today. We're going to deepen up our crease with this color right here, Mandala. Now this color isn't super deep, but it is deeper than the other shades. It should give us the effect that we're looking for. It, it definitely deepened up, not as deep as I would like it to be. And again, we are gonna take this fluffy brush and just kind of diffuse. Now to add a little bit more drama to the eyes, I'm gonna go back in Mandala and smoke out the bottom of my lashes, like right here. Now the fun part, the shimmers. <laughs> I'm gonna do this middle shade over the eyelid and then I'm gonna go into maybe this pinky kind of color and do like a little halo. So let's see. It's not showing up as nicely as I want it to. Well, let me go ahead and try with a brush. I don't know about the formula on these shimmers. See, it's, it's just, it's not, it's not doing what I want it to do. It's very difficult to get the shimmers on the eyeball. Maybe it's just this middle one that is just not good. Let's try putting petal. I mean, it's better. I think that's as good as I'm gonna be able to get that. I, 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 I don't know about these. Now I'm just gonna do a little halo effect with tangerine or at least try to do a halo effect. Whether or not it's gonna halo, Beyonce halo. Yeah, see, that didn't do at all what I was hoping it would do. I don't even see it. And if it looks like it like just wiped off all my like shimmer that I have on already. It, it might be a pass. Yeah, it, it might be a pass for all these high eyeshadows. Maybe this one just isn't that good. Um, I will have to try another palette by them and see. So far, I'm not a big fan. The colors are beautiful, but they're just not, they're not formulated. <laughs> I'm gonna attempt to put unicorn. Oh, it's called unicorn. I'm gonna attempt to put unicorn in my inner corner. Yeah, that definitely works for the inner corner. Everywhere else, uh, usually it's the opposite, right? Usually the shimmers be shimmering. But for some reason, like the shimmers on this palette just aren't good. They're not performing well. It's patchy. It was very difficult to work with. I might have to give a pass on on this. I, I don't know if I, I don't know if this is that girl. Next, we are gonna go into the eyeliner. And this is what she looks like. Let me bring you in a little closer. I can't see from all the way over there. Ooh, it is nice and wet. It is not dried out by any means of the word dried out. We went full, full glam with all the way across eyeliner. Now for the setting spray. The mist we already know is good, okay? We already know the mist is misting. Next, we're gonna go in with this mascara. I'm not really seeing much of a difference with my eyelashes using this. This is already three coats. This really didn't do anything for my eyelashes, so I don't know if I'm a fan. The first half, they had me in a chokehold. Second half, not so much. Hopefully this 
can make a redemption arc for this look. Cause right now, why not bring you out when I know I need a look? Let's keep you here for now. So far, not a fan of the eyeshadow and the mascara. The mascara ain't mascara. Next, I'm gonna go in and line my lips. I'm not gonna fill it with this, but I am gonna line my lips with what color is this. Shoot, I don't even know what color this is. It doesn't say what color this is, but it's like a like a brown duo. I think this is a nice lip line. And now we're gonna try our cute little bullet lipstick. And this is in the color Hearts Beat. I don't know if this is gonna go with this eye look. This feels really nice. It smells good too. Actually, I don't hate it. I actually do not hate it. All right, y'all. So this is the final look. I, I think it looks okay. I, I, I'm gonna take this off. The foundation is amazing. Once I do like a wear test, I'll know if I love it with my whole heart or just love it for a quick application and then quickly taking it off. So far, it feels really good. I don't feel oily. I don't feel greasy. I think the color mesh is really good. The lipstick feels good. It feels really good on my lips. Like it feels hydrating. It smells good. It went on like a dream. I do want to try that duo by itself with like the actual lip filler color. These two things save your coin. They're not that good. You're better off finding something that is going to blend out beautifully and do what it do the first time. You don't have to work super hard to make it look good. I'm not disappointed. I like pretty much everything that I have. There are a few things that I need to try later on and I will keep y'all posted about that. But overall, I think this is a good haul and I think we turned out okay. Too bad it's too late for Justin to take me nowhere. Well, take me somewhere. We're, we are going nowhere. He is taking me nowhere. If you like this content, you already know what to do. Like, share, comment, and definitely subscribe so that you can become a Febe. And I will see y'all with the next one. Deuces, wait, deuces.